Well, hello and welcome back to the channel for those of you who are returning. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kate and I love all things tarot. And I uh, particularly like to do uh, political tarot. So that's what we've got up deck today. Question that's coming in. Sarah Palin has announced that she is running for the con a congressional seat in um, Alaska. And is she going to be successful? So there's the question for the cards that we're asking. Will Sarah Palin be successful in her uh, congressional run? And I am using the uh, comic book, Golden Age of Comics Horror Edition by Bobby Alexander for the... Uh, the cards and they're a kind of a fun deck. I did a review on them not too long ago. So you take a look at that if you want. This is just going to be a three card reading because you know we do have a long ways to November and energy can change so much. So I'm just going to do uh, a quick three carder on this one. Now um, the first card in the draw that we have is the four of wands. Four of Wands. And this is about having a uh, reason to celebrate and uh, having a strong foundation, building a strong foundation for the future. Now, of course, um, Sarah Palin does have a strong foundation politically. She was running mate for John McCain in his presidential run. And uh, certainly she went from, you know, Sarah Who to being a national figure in that. Whether or not you approve of Sarah Palin is another story altogether, but she certainly does have a strong foundation to make this bid. She's not coming from, she's never gonna be Sarah Who again. So uh, she does have that uh, press pull that you want when you're doing something like this. And uh, she's probably one of the most uh, well-known Alaskan politicians. The second card in the draw, and this is kind of the central energy on a three card draw, and this is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. And that is about, um, you know, usually it's about uh, the abandoning and walking away from that which no longer serves you. But it's anything about any kind of uh, dramatic change or a desire to pursue a dream, you know, moving on to go to the next step in your life. And certainly this would apply in Sarah Palin's case. Um, you know, she's no longer a commentator on Fox News and she's kind of faded from the spotlight since her, um, since the vice presidential run didn't work out for her and she's been she's been in the news for a lot of different reasons we are making idiot mistakes when we conflate the two of them and the idea that Sarah Palin is an, an idiot and too stupid to you know whether or not it's raining out is wrong so she is got a good chance at doing this and, you know, what she's done since the election hasn't really, you know, anything has really panned out. She's kind of been a little life on here. So she is at a new stage in her life and she is moving on to what she wants to, to accomplish. And the final card in this reading is the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. And that is a straightforward, um, independent energy and it's about quick communication now like i said be careful when you assume that sarah palin is stupid because she's not and she's certainly uh able to think on her feet and she is not shy about you know giving back what's handed to her um and uh, absolutely don't make the mistake of assuming that because you disagree with what she says, that she is somehow stupid, because she's not. She's not a stupid woman at all. So what is the shadow card on this? And that is the magician, the magician. And that is about mastering uh, your vision or turning, manifesting your, 
your vision and turning it into reality. So what you see in your head and you use all your resources and you've got the resources available and you turn it into a physical reality. Um, it's a card for success. So to answer the question, is Sarah Palin going to be um, successful in her congressional run? I say right now the cards are saying she's got a very good chance. There's a very good probability that she is going to uh, be successful in her run for Congress. So that's the energy that we've got right now. We'll pull this again before we get closer to the election. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.